Good afternoon and thank you for joining us for Krem 2 News First at 4. I'm Mark Hanrahan. Whitney is off today. And I'm Tom Sherry. Breaking news to tell you today. The Spokane Regional Health District is reporting 418 new COVID-19 cases. One new death has also been reported, bringing the total number now in Spokane County to 251 deaths. 71 Spokane County residents are in the hospital. Well, Thanksgiving kicks off the holiday season and with that local health officials are stressing the importance of social distancing and social gathering restrictions. In a press conference today, both Providence and MultiCare report their hospitals have the capacity to treat patients with or without COVID. However, if the current trend continues with COVID cases, the fear is that that will no longer be possible. How we as community and people monitor and deal with the holiday is going to help define what December looks like for us. Tonight at 5 o'clock, we'll have more on this and how the response to COVID is different from illnesses like H1N1. Governor Jay Inslee is encouraging Washingtonians to celebrate Thanksgiving with only their immediate household. Today, he tweeted hospitalizations in the state due to suspected COVID-19 cases have doubled in the last 25 days. He also said, quote, it's time to have a hard conversation with your loved ones and defer any gatherings until it's safe. Well, the next few weeks will be critical in the fight uh, in fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. Yesterday, Inslee commended Washington as leading the United States in the most residents per capita that are acting safely this year. Well, it can be difficult to break long held traditions like gatherings with loved ones for Thanksgiving. It may be even harder, though, to explain why you're choosing to stay home this year to friends and family who may feel hurt by your decision or who don't take the pandemic seriously. And there was a lot of stress surrounding the holidays to begin with and with concerns of COVID-19 growing. So how do you start that conversation with your extended family or loved ones who may not understand? Our Regina on spoke with the behavioral director for MultiCare, Samantha Clark. She says the first step to start is with the heart. Clark says be open and honest and be direct with talking about the importance of safety. She also says it's OK to not be OK right now. There is a lot of anxiety and depression surrounding COVID-19. Clark also offers another tip. Focus on high hopes of future holidays and try to laugh and have fun. Whether it's going on a run while talking to your loved one or sending someone a funny text message, it could help a lot right now. And Tom, uh, this year we actually canceled our plans to go yeah. see my sister over in Seattle because of COVID. What about you? How are you celebrating safely this Thanksgiving? Well, we were supposed to actually go over to family members as well this Thanksgiving, and we're not doing that either because mm -hmm. we're all kind of hunkering down and just trying to, we hope this is the last Thanksgiving we ever have to do that. Right. But that's what we're hoping for. I know. Just got to get through it, right? We just got to get through it. And I know you were looking forward to your trip as well, mm -hmm. but hey, look at us doing the right thing. Right. Uh, it is finally here. And I think, by the way, I think that a lot of people are doing the right thing. It's finally here the last day before Thanksgiving. Many states have strict travel restrictions, but some folks are choosing to travel. Let's head out to Spokane International Airport where our Regina on is live. Regina, how's it looking out there? And Tom, you did mention that people are really doing the right thing this year, staying home and trying not to travel outside of their own four walls really and being safe. Now here at the airport, it is kind of an eerie situation right now. Last year this time, most airports were really elbow to elbow. You really couldn't find room to move around too much. And I'll take a look behind me. Pretty empty here at the Spokane International Airport. I've seen maybe 10 or 12 people walking by me, you know, and last year, even the year before that, it was maybe in the hundreds. And one thing that I wanted to mention was last week, you know, we reported on those travel advisories and those things that you want to make sure that you are keeping in mind. One of the biggest things that experts tell me is that some of the things that you want to keep in mind is that the TSA lines, the cab ride to the airport, and everything surrounding your actual trip is what you want to be careful of. And I want you to come with me really quick to see something new that I didn't see just last week. And those are these plexiglass dividers here, the TSA lines. I, I didn't see this just last week and I was here shooting a story and these are brand new. Look at there are everywhere. So if you do come in here, you want to keep in mind that you are going to be separated. You do have to wear a mask. You want to make sure that you are uh, six feet 
or even more distance apart from anybody else that you're around. I did see a couple of security guards walking around here making sure that people do have a mask on. I did hear that as well. So uh, just be cautious when you're coming out here. Not too many travelers right now. Of course, that is a good thing. You know, I did talk to one traveler who came to Spokane just for one day because they lost a family member and really it was kind of that emergency situation that you have to travel. So whatever the reason is for travelers right now, if you're going to go see your family, please be safe out there. But again, I did hear that there is another flight heading out of Alaska in about 30 minutes. So it'll be interesting to see how many people come through these doors. But for now, live here at the Spokane International Airport, Regina on back to you. Regina, thank you very much. Just kind of eerie to see the airport wow. so empty on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. My goodness. OK, well, let's talk weather now, Tom. It was a pretty nice morning yes. at my house, at least at my house, but then the clouds rolled in kind of gloomy or so this afternoon. How are we looking for Thanksgiving? Yeah, well, uh, we're looking at uh, uh, typical Thanksgiving weather. As a matter of fact, I think we're going to see seasonal temperatures and I too enjoyed that sunshine this morning and we actually have a few isolated snow showers across the area right now. Now here in Spokane, we're at 37 degrees. Wind is out of the southwest at seven miles per hour. Look at the sh snow showers, mostly over in northern Idaho and then we have some rain showers uh, down into the Palouse near the Colfax and Pullman area and uh, some of those farming towns down there. Uh, look for some patchy freezing fog overnight with a low of 28 degrees during a normal Thanksgiving for lots of families that like to go out and play the touch or tackle football games before that turkey is ready to eat. You would have perfect weather tomorrow to do that, except we're not doing that. We'll look for mostly cloudy skies on Thursday and a daytime high of 40. I'm looking ahead to the holiday weekend. I've got partly cloudy skies on Saturday and Sunday, 45 Saturday, 42 on Sunday. I'll have the rest of your seven day forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Well,